Hello everyone, welcome to my laboratory. My name is Tyler and today we're going to talk about using a white film molecular distillation uh, machine in order to take crude CBD oil and turn it into distillate. We're also going to talk about the differences between crude and distillate and a little bit of the science behind it. So, come on in and uh, let's have some fun. All right, now that we're all set up, we are ready to start processing. I'll walk you through the machines and then we'll talk about the difference between crude and distillate. First machine we have here is a preheater vessel. This is used to heat up the crude oil before it goes to our evaporator. The next machine that we have is our evaporator heater. This is used to make sure that the crude oil is turning into vapor and allowing the distillate to separate from the crude oil. We'll get into that here in a moment. Right here we have a peristaltic pump which pumps oil from the preheater to the evaporator. Right behind here we have another machine and this is a chiller for your cold trap. We'll get into that in a second. Here we have another heater and this is for a condensing coil and that condensing coil is inside of your money maker here this is your evaporator what we have going on in here is we have a bunch of rollers that are taking the oil that's being fed to the evaporator and spreading that oil onto the wall so that the oil heats up which allows the oil to separate the CBD vapors in, get collected into a distillate collection flask. After the vapors cool down, they turn back into an oil. So what we have right here is your distillate collection flask, and then you have your crude collection flask. Next we have a cold trap collection flask, which catches any vapors that were not turned into either distillate or were not collected in the crude collection flask. And it catches, it's really important that those vapors are being captured here because where they go to next, if they're not captured there, is into a high vacuum pump. And if those vapors get into the pump, then it can seriously damage your equipment and which eventually shuts down your operation and that means no money. So what we have here is a high vacuum pump. Uh, what this is used for is to lower the atmospheric pressure of the um, vessel. And the reason why that's important is as the atmospheric pressure decreases, the vapor point for um, oil and actually for all substances also decreases, which means that you need less energy and you have less chance of causing degradation to your cannabinoids when converting uh, crude into distillate, uh, which means you have a higher quality uh, end product. What we have right to the right, uh, to the right of the high vacuum pump is another chiller, uh, and this is used to make sure that the high vacuum pump is kept cool. Maybe the most important piece of equipment um, is a five gallon bucket here. Uh, there is a lot of sitting around and waiting, and I just use this to sit on. That's, that's pretty important for me. Um, the difference between crude oil and distillate is vast. Uh, the most important thing is probably the uh, content and the potency of uh, CBD in uh, crude versus distillate. Um, CBD potency in crude is lower than it is distillate, and so that's the reason why we're making distillate is to increase the potency by weight in uh, the overall oil. Um, you also change the flavor. Uh, when you have crude oil, it has a very earthy, very strong flavor. Um, and that's partly because of all of the other undesirable components and compounds that are in crude oil. Now, when you go and you turn that crude oil into distillate, as you notice, there's a big change in color. There's also a difference in flavor. 
there is a difference in potency, right? Potency goes up significantly. Crude oil is anywhere between 50 and 60% uh, CBD content, where distillate is anywhere between 80, 95% uh, CBD distillate. What's important is that even though we're focusing mostly on CBD, there's still some THC in this product. And so to be federally compliant in order to sell it, you need to reduce the total THC in your distillate down to 0.3% or lower before you bring it out to uh, retail.